I'm almost there. I'm gonna get my dolly and put it under. Just help it slide. Pretty cool, huh? It's so fucking heavy that the uh, it's actually sliding on top of the blocks of wood. Actually, it's not slipping from... Conjunction. Get maximum force without a lot of strength. Be careful. 
careful now. Tip this over. out just put some of those big thick blocks in there. Just slide off the uh, the uh, ramp here at this point. accomplished. Well, mission accomplished for tonight. Here we have the uh, gigantic task of moving this. Right now it's just sitting in front of the house. That's no good. Maybe I'll just have the task. Not be easy of getting this on a, some sort of trolley or maybe just a, a car. A modern car would be perfect. Like it's, they're so fucking shitty, right? Need a 1.5 liter, you know, Toyota Echo or something to move this. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's fucking it, guys. Peace. That's it. Holy fuck. Good exercise. Probably wondering how I got this into the van, right? Believe me or not, <laughs> one time in my life we had a uh, <laughs> we had a fucking piano, an upright piano inside the van. <laughs> not this van, but uh, another van. <laughs> Some good memories, guys. space in the van right so my parents would go in the front and I would go underneath the piano so go on top of the seats right and then uh, on the, under the seats right there there would be a little bit of space and that's where I would go <laughs> Oh.
Holy fuck, I'm getting tired. Later, I'm gonna do a video on helping people. I know I'm like a, a tough guy and I swear a lot. I curse like the fucking hell. Right? I like my beer as well. Uh, never smoked. Never will smoke. Not cool, guys. Smoking is fucking garbage. Because you know, this time we try. I met a girl and some oral sex on her <laughs> and she fucking smokes so much and her pussy smells like smoke <laughs> like nasty smoke from a cigarette you know like chain smoke fucking disgusting guys so just just don't fucking smoke and don't fucking do drugs marijuana all that fucking bullshit guys what the fuck is happening to people Holy fuck. What's wrong with good old rock and roll and beer and girls? Oh, fucking people. Fucking into drugs and shit. Fucking unbelievable. Ugh. All the people that I know that did drugs. Either, they're either fucking dead or in prison or like fucking zombies. Their fucking brain is fucking fried. And they look at you and they're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck, it's, it's not fucking funny. I'm laughing, but it's, it's not fucking funny, guys. Crow's classic cars, huh? Yeah, sometimes I just like to sit around and just listen to the silence. Fortunately, here it's not a bad, such a, like a bad place. I mean, like, it's in the, uh, it's a fairly rural area and there's no, no neighbors around. <laughs> As you can probably tell. <laughs> Fuck, guys, I, I've come kind of far. Well, I don't have much, but I have so much. <laughs> I remember when I got my first car. My, my, my father had a truck, and... Uh, Drove, drove uh, me two hours to get the, to get the car. <laughs> 1963 Rambler. <laughs> still have the car today. Uh, it's still my. It's still with me. I still use it daily. Some fucking memories, guys. You know how all of this started? All the machines, parts, grease, cars, you know how Prince of Greece started? When I was in high school. I started looking on a uh, classified site. driver's license until I, I didn't get it when I was 16, but anyways, my parents were telling me, you should get your driver's license, I was thinking, but I don't have a fucking car, but anyways, I sat down on, on the computer once, I said, you know what, I'm just going to look at some cars, and then I, and that's when it kicked in, I was hypnotized, my cars, 
classic cars. I guess I, I don't think I've told you guys why it's called Old, Old Crow's Classic Cars. You guys obviously know why I'm the Prince of Greece, that's for sure. No doubt about that name, where that name came from. But um, I used to have a pet crow. It fell off its nest one day, and uh, so I took it in and gave it food. And grew and got bigger and then it never left. Grew up inside the house and when I was working on a car before I had the nice cars. Actually no. Very. I didn't have the DeSoto already. But anyways she would uh, try to steal tools and, and bolts, especially bolts, tiny bolts have to watch him. She just go ha ah, ah, fly away with the pencils. She was that was really cool man. She'd sleep on my on my shoulder. Just like I'd look like a, a pirate. Pirate. <laughs> crow rock walk crow crow resting on my shoulder. Never kept any animal in a cage, guys. I have a dog. Doesn't use a leash. And the crow is always free. She'd hang around outside. And follow us. Follow me. And then when uh, night time came, she'd just fly in the house. Uh, go up on top of a door and she'd sleep there. <laughs> It's an unbelievable, unforgettable experience. <laughs> so that's why it's called Old Crow's Classic Cars. <laughs> Lots of memories. <laughs> Fuck, you guys should have seen me... Uh, Unloading the DeSoto. It's a really big and heavy car. Bought it, bought it for $650. That's, you could probably buy a bike for that price. But, anyways, the. Uh, so, I. I I got, I rented a uh, tow dolly from U-Haul. There I went. By the way, guys, you know, there's not so much planning uh, when I when getting these things, getting myself into these things, you know, just like this welder, you know. I didn't know, I didn't know it was so fucking big. You gotta have faith in yourself. No, not just faith. Not faith. Just gotta live fearless. Just gotta look at what you got and you gotta tell yourself well, maybe it could be worse. And you just say, you just look at the risks and you say, fuck you, risks. We're doing this shit. <laughs> Go look at it. it. Doesn't work out. Well, it doesn't work out. If you don't try, it doesn't work out for sure. If you try, then usually you can make it work out. If it doesn't work out well, that's that. You just the saying that says you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I'm a strong believer in that. But uh, back to the DeSoto one. Of course, the DeSoto was sitting outside um, for I don't know how long. 
couple of years, certainly. But I, I had seen a picture of the engine bay, and everything was there, complete. And this car was on top of a hill. And all the tires were just completely flat. So I took a big compressor and the little car and the uh, truck, took a bunch of big blocks of wood. What else did I take? I took a jack, some tools. I didn't have I didn't have a lot of tools back then. Then when we got there and the, the, the soda was outside and it was sitting on the top of a big hill. A really big hill. But all I had was a tow dolly and the truck, so and me and my father was there. Oh parents guys. Parents are my parents are certainly the best parents in the world, that's for sure. <laughs> You gotta imagine my poor mother washing my clothes when I was a boy. Not a fun experience. Now I wash my own clothes and and I appreciate her even more. <laughs> so what I did to, for the soda was there was no brakes and the steering was really hard. So I took the dis I disconnected the uh, disconnected the uh, tow dolly from the truck. We put big fucking Locks on it. And the idea was we will pull, we will push the, the car down the hill. Because, of course, guys, I didn't have a hitch, right? But the problem is, uh, we push the car down the hill in order to get it to stop. It sounds simple, but it, you try doing it in practice, in reality, it's, you, you'll find out it's quite different. It's funny looking back now, but back then it wasn't funny at all, and then there was rain, holy fuck, man. At one point the tow dolly is, it just has two wheels in the middle, right? And that tow dolly went like this, and the car went like that. It's fucking crazy, and then fortunately the, uh, they had a chain, the people that were selling me the car, they had a chain. And then we use a chain and we strapped it to the truck. And we push it. Fuck it. I'm forgetting it now. I don't remember it so well anymore. Let's see. I remember the blocks for sure, and that was certain. And I was. Yeah, the thing is. Okay, there was a hill, but the tow dolly would go like this. Here, here's the hill in my right hand, which you're seeing on your, uh, yeah, your right as well, yeah, and like that. And so here was the tow dolly, but it would incline like that, so it wasn't possible to push the car onto the dolly. Right? So we had a. What I did was we connected the chain to the truck, disconnected the tow dolly from the truck. <coughs> Fuck sakes. And put the chain on the car. Slowly push the uh, pull the uh, car on top of the tow dolly. All the while being on a <coughs> fuck. Being on a not on a fuck. Being on a uh, on a hill like that. Really incline. <laughs> and then back home to get the the DeSoto down from the tow dolly. Remember, no brakes guys, no brakes, very little steering. Just seized up. Just a bunch of jerk junk and garbage. You know? So what I did is I aimed at, at, it, at where it would go if I just let it go off of the dolly. And I went ahead and I put big blocks of wood. <laughs> blocks in. That thing came off of the dolly. Man, that that car, the DeSoto, fucking flew, man. It, it, so, 
you know, no brakes, guys. And nobody wanted to go inside the car. <laughs> and we, I mean, we had to push it off, right? And that car just went. It went over the first big block, and then before it reached the second block, it stopped just a few meters from a tree and a big incline. If it had gone down that incline, <laughs> maybe it would have gotten right into somebody's house or into the river. Neither would have been a nice option, a nice outcome. <coughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pardon me guys, I got something fucking stuck in my nose. <laughs> But it was all, I'm, I'm telling you guys it like this, but it was all very well planned. At least the safety stuff. <laughs> There's just people that don't know, don't understand my thinking. Then they think it's unsafe. This water probably weighs three times as much as me. <laughs> Prince of Greece. It's a pretty car, ain't it? Let's see if you can see it at night. Wish I had lights on it. We gotta put the trim on it. Yeah, guys, I, most people still consider me really poor. Fuck, compared to what I had before, it's, I'm a rich man. It's all in your head, guys. It all depends what you want. Richness is not how much you have. How much you don't want to have. See, for me, this is I've I've got what I want now. It's just a job and a couple old cars for me to work on. If I have that. I'm rich for me. Money can only get you things. things like this. Fucking philosopher. Huh? So you gotta make do with what you got sometimes. Just like me, for my case, it's usually a lot of the times. But unfortunately, guys, when I was a kid, we were so poor. Oh. So poor is a strong word. 